Hey y'all, welcome to Reens at Woolishire Farm. I'm Natasha and joining me we got britches in the front there, donuts in the back, and I'm sure soon we're gonna have the sheep because we got a little rain, a little wind blowing in, and those sheep do not enjoy getting their hair wet, or their wool wet, my bad. Don't tell them I said that. So we got a big announcement. We're gonna be celebrating Christmas in July this week. It's been really warm here, so we're hoping thinking about Christmas cooler weather it's gonna it's gonna you know make this humidity go away that's what we're going for so and thank you for tuning in to the Woolly Shire Farm channel this evening um, be sure to take a moment to subscribe the channel and pound that like button because even though Bridges has got his back to you he'd love to have you back and share in story time with him and um <laughs> if you tuned in yesterday, you know that Tommy and I were away from the farm for a few days and uh, we had a fantastic time, but the best part was knowing that um, our Palomando was tending to, to britches and donuts every whim here on the farm, you know, back rubs, belly rubs, maybe an extra scoop of food here and there, right? And, um, and so thank you, big shout out to Amanda for being the, the best sheep the best sheep sitter there ever was. Ooh, you could mess that up. All right, so we're ready to get Christmas in July. So it looks like we're starting to have a few sheep. Uh, they're thinking about rolling in. They're not too sure yet. <laughs> so today's story is Santa Duck. It is written by David Milgram. You know, and I considered, you know, getting in the attic, getting some of my Christmas gear, maybe wear a Christmas sweater, but. It's like 90 degrees here. I don't want to cool in my attic. And I sure don't want to put on a sweater. So I got this red shirt instead. All right. Nicholas Duck had only one day left to find Santa. If I don't tell him what I want, he quacked, it's going to be another year of socks and underwear. <laughs> I'm sure some of us can relate. So. On his way out, Nicholas found a surprise. It was a cozy, warm coat and a genuine official Santa hat. Look at that, he is styling and profiling. You guys gonna come up here? Come on, Colonel. Colonel's like, mm, I don't know. You guys are camera shot today. Jingle quack, jingle quack, jingle all the quack. Nicholas had no idea who had given it to him, but he liked it. And then Nicholas met a chicken, Santa Duck. And the chicken said, I've been looking for you everywhere. And I'd like a helicopter, a hot air balloon, a hang glider, and a blimp. And uh, the chicken wants a lot. And after that, he met a cat. The cat was like, I want a mouse. <laughs> Oh, what you barking about? It's just me. Come on. Come on, donuts. We're not wrestling right now. Come on. Come on, donuts. Can you see yourself in the camera? I don't know what they're going to do. This ain't WrestleMania. <laughs> yeah, it is not WrestleMania, they said. All right, so you guys settling in? Oh, you're going to lay on me. All right, so let's get back to what the cat wanted. Or were you making your, your, your list be known? I want a mouse and a canary and a trout. Maybe a couple mice, plump hamsters. And you better bring some eggnog too. And Nicholas said, goes, has everyone gone bonkers? Woo! Hey, Sergeant. Here comes old Sergeant Marshmallow. Oh, you don't, they don't want to wrestle with you. No wrestle. Ooh, you're a little wet. You got a little wetness here. Oh, don't play with that. All right, let's see. And then Nicholas Duck, he met a turtle. And the turtle was like, in a really, really fast race car, it goes really, really fast, and a helmet with goggles and flames painted on the side. He wants some flames painted right here, don't you, Sergeant? And then he ran into a squirrel. The squirrel was like a case of almonds, a case of walnut, two cases of peanuts. Ooh, did you hear that? You want like five cases of peanuts. And a shovel. 
and then he ran into a rabbit, and the rabbit was like, all I want is a carrot cake the size of a football field. And don't forget the frosting. Yeah, you better not forget the frosting. Nicholas couldn't figure out what was going on. All he could do was scratch his head like this. And when he did, his hat fell off. Of course! It must be the hat. Your breath is rough. So Nicholas gave it to a cow. <laughs> really, really. I Really, I insist. Because he's giving it to the cow, right? Gee, thanks, Santa Duck. The cow was very happy with her new hat. And Nicholas was even happier to be rid of it, right? Jingle moo, jingle moo, jingle all the moo. <laughs> You're like, let's see. And Nicholas continued on his merry search once again. Ooh, we got Colonel Popcorn over here. And, he, and when he was on his merry search, he was laughing all the way until the cow came after him. Oh, I almost forgot. I'd like a Frisbee, a skateboard, sunglasses, a home ice cream maker, and an extra large Santa hat. Because this one, it's just too small. Mm, you want a Santa hat? And then came two kangaroos, a pig, a mouse, a goat, and Nicholas's own kid brother. Here they are in line, right? And the kangaroo's like, I never knew Santa was a duck. And the pig said, this is just Santa's half helper. The real Santa is a pig. I think he's a sheep. And this, his little kid brother goes, make it a red bike with rainbow tassels and a big, big horn. And Nicholas says, that does it. Hey, hey. Nicholas started running and running and running. And he was saying, leave me alone. Quack. Until he ran into Santa himself. And he was like, no way. And Santa was like, no way. Santa asked Nicholas what everyone wanted. And Nicholas told him, wow, thanks, Santa Duck. What a great memory you have. Huh? Me? Santa Duck? After they said goodnight, Nicholas realized he had forgotten to tell Santa his own list. Man, the thing really just started coming down. But it was too late. Santa, come back! Santa! Santa! Oh no! And then when Nicholas got home, there was a note on his door. Dear Santa Duck, Thank you so much for your help. I couldn't have done it without you. May I count on you again next year? Gratefully, Santa. Jingle quack, jingle quack, jingle all the quack. Nicholas felt so proud, he forgot all about his list. Getting to help Santa was the best gift he could ever get. Well, almost. It looks like he got a golf cart. I think he got my golf cart that I wanted. The, the end. Hey, it's a tough crowd in here. We got a little, little ramp. I don't know how much the camera's picking up on the mic on that. Oh boy. Well, we are so glad that each and every one of you joined us for Christmas in July story time. And if you haven't already, Make sure you pound that like button and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of our future shenanigans. And, you know, Marshmallow's making me say this, but for every comment that you leave up, Marshmallow gets an ear rub. So she really needs a lot of ear rubs. Oh boy, so be sure to tune, tune in tomorrow evening. Maybe it'll be drier. Maybe it'll be hotter in our Christmas in July. We're going to have another Christmas story uh, to read tomorrow evening. Well, till next time, bye, y'all.